What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. This will be a pretty quick video now. I've done the unboxing of this awesome little Whippet flathead water-cooled gasoline engine and I was just waiting on a few parts to get it running and I thought, you know what, I'll open it up and I'll show you what's inside this engine before I um, get it started. So underneath here there's a little plate and it's got two uh, gaskets. I've taken them off for the meantime so we can have a look. But there in there is your crankshaft and your connecting rod. Now you notice that there is a small hole and that is the oil hole. So there's a little hole in there that runs all the way up to the top of the piston. And it lubricates it all because it has its own little oil down here. So you have a little plug here, you fill that up with oil. So it's got like a splash system. So it's not relying on like a nitro engine where it's you know uses the fuel and oil together this has got its own little reservoir there for oil there's a hole right there so pretty sweet and as you can see if you flip it around here sorry flip it around you can see the cam just in there so you can see it rotating just in there so pretty pretty nice now to see this i've taken off the flywheel on the side now this is the flywheel nice and heavy give so hopefully she'll give it some nice low rpm i was also waiting on the drill start system right here so i don't need to use the actual pull start and that's going to sit on that and there is a drill attachment right there it's got a like a one-way bearing so it won't it'll spin only one way but that's the bottom and i must admit this is really nicely machined really really nice so if you push it up here push it at the bottom there's top dead center pretty much. A little bit more than we top dead center. But here we have your inlet fuel and air. And here is your exhaust. Now if I spin the crank, you should be able to see. So there's your exhaust. There's your inlet. There's your compression. And so it comes back up, bang, let's all the exhaust out, and then the cycle starts again. But uh, yeah, so when people say top dead center, top dead center is right there, right on top. So there we go exhaust, carburetor, everything is there. You would have seen it on the unboxing video if you didn't. Now, here's the top of the head, check out that machining, really nice. And on top here, it has a kind of water channel that runs around. Let's uh, undo this one bolt, be able to slide it. There we go. Seal it up with a gasket. And that's it. So that's going to sit back on. So you've got your water inlet and outlet so that it keeps everything in check just on here. Now, that's what I was waiting for. Now, links are down below if you want to go check this out. But I needed a water pump. So electric water pump, some spare tubing, and to keep it all cool, a little radiator. There we go there. So, sterling kit, all you know, these things, along with this man, uh, little engine. So like I said, I'll, I'll leave the links down below, but just a quick video I wanted to show you before I put it all together. And uh, you know, a lot of people are asking, I want to see what's inside. But as you can see, really nice machining, nice quality, especially in the head here. There we go. Awesome. But there we go, guys. Quick video. Hope you liked it. And uh, should be starting this bad boy real soon.